Jane, I hear you need some help with IT and with your canvas. How can I help you? I would like to put my ledgers onto canvas, uh, but I just really don't know how to do that. Okay, well, look, there's a number of tools we can use. Um, probably Echo was one of the simplest tools we can use. Will you be doing this for at home? Yes. Okay. And you've got a Macintosh computer here? I have, yeah. And I see you've got a headset as well? Because yep. we want to need these. These are very important for, um, for doing recordings and stuff. Okay, what I'll do, I'll get you to um, log on to the internet with your computer. If you can, if you can um, launch Internet Explorer, or Google in this case. You need to log on to the RMIT website. If you click on the staff link, you may need to sign in with this. So if you sign in with your um, staff number and with your password. And what we do is we click on the um, teaching and supporting students link. And from here, we click on the enable online learning and teaching. And from here, we click on online learning resources. And on this website, this is a resource for staff. It has a whole range of online tools that are fantastic to use for online teaching. What we're going to do is we're going to go down to the echo section. So if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, keep going, yep. you'll see that there is a link there for echo support. And this website has a whole range of resources that are fantastic for academics, shows a whole range of tools you can use for online learning. You can see here that we have a whole range of echo resources. And what echo does, it is a tool that enables you to do a screen capture and you can annotate, you can speak over it. So you can capture your lecturer, you can make a little video of it, and it will automatically upload it to your Canvas core shell. So it's pretty cool. Okay, what I'll get you to do, if you have a Macintosh or PC, we have a Macintosh here, so we're gonna to go to the actual Echo 360 UCAP install guide. And what it'll do, it'll download the guide, and if you just click to open it, It'll give you all the instructions you need to install it. One thing you have to um, have is admin rights on this computer in order to install it. Do you have admin rights, Shane? Yes, I do. Oh, great. Oh, well, we should be able to go ahead. If you scroll down, all the instructions are there on how to um, download and install the software. And if you just follow those guides, we can actually install the um, software. And you notice that there's a link uh, and step one, which takes us to the download the software. If you click on that, this will take us to the actual Echo site. And what I'll ask you to do is just type in your email in there, please. Okay, Jane, from here, you can download the Macintosh or the PC version of Echo. It's pretty simple. So you can see on the screen, it says um, Mac download. If you just click that button. Again, it's downloaded that piece of software. You just have to wait for it to fully download before we can activate it. Have you done this before, Jane? Have you actually done online recordings in Canvas before? I haven't. No, this is the first time. Look, it's not that difficult. And the trick is to keep them, you know, short and sweet, be confident. And the more you do these things, the better you get at them. Practice makes perfect, eh? <laughs> yes. Okay, so now we can almost, we can't open it yet because we're still waiting for it to download. Okay, so we've downloaded the Echo um, personal capture file so if you just click on that file that will install it onto your Macintosh computer and you just follow the instructions press continue agree to everything continue and if you just press install now click install this will install the software on our machine and the password for this computer we'll just type the password in now it's installing the files and that's how easy it is straightforward when you know how Straightforward and you know how. That uh, RMIT website has absolutely everything on it, so all the information is there. Okay, so if you click, click on close, and you can move it to the bin because we don't need it anymore. It's going to ask you to enable your um, microphone and camera on your computer. And what we have here is we have a headset, and the headset has a um, microphone built into it. So we need one of these to make really accurate recordings so your audio sounds really good. So if you just put this on, and what you can do is you can plug the USB into the USB port on your um, Macintosh or on your PC computer. And now we can click continue. Okay, same with the video. It's asking us for the video. We just select um, OK, which allows us, to use the, allows us to use the video. 
and your microphone again, asking us to allow it to use a microphone. I don't know what to say there, so I don't know what this is actually. Grant access for application. Yeah, it's just open system system preferences. What the hell is this about? Okay, on the security and privacy window, what we do is we unclick the actual lock down here, and now you type in your computer security password again. Click on lock. Great, now it's unlocked your computer. We can see that here. If you just check the box next to Echo 360 Capture, and now click to lock the box again down here, down to click to lock the computer again. Yeah, and now if you close that window, and now Echo should be installed on your computer. In order to access Echo, you click on the Go button up on top, and you scroll down to Applications, and we should have Echo in there, in your Applications window someplace. Yeah, a quick way to find the software is just to type the first letter of the name of the software. For example, just type, press the E on the keyboard, and there we find Echo. And if you double click that, that'll launch the Echo software for us. So Jane, so now you've installed Echo onto your Macintosh computer. How difficult was that? That's great. That's right. brilliant. Yeah, okay, well, well, look, next we'll look at um, making a recording for your um, session. Okay? Great. Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. Blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs>